Hi everybody. So today we are thinking about doing what? Going to church. Going to church. And uh, we're going maybe if we keep listening, maybe to the Spider-Man movie. And we also may see the new Spider-Man movie if everyone is listening. That's so. What you said. <laughs> so first up, though. And what are you planning to do at church? Uh, no Sunday school because I can't go because I'm not going to be with my sister because it's Sunday school time. She is nine and she has to stay on her little room. I have to go in my little room. I don't want to go to Sunday school because I hate Sunday school. I never even went there, but I think it's going to be so hard to go. One of the rules that I'm trying to apply to my own parenting is that if my kids want to attend Mass, that's great. And if not, then they don't need to attend with me. But the First United Church has been so welcoming and um, so LGBTQ plus uh, positive. And we, the one that I went to about a month ago with my oldest daughter, we read um, passages from Malala. There was Maya Angelou songs um, sang as part of the service. And... It's something that I am very much looking into as uh, something that I'm hoping can fill some kind of spiritual void that I've had for some time. So today, my daughters and I are giving it a try. Okay, so we got a little bit lost and went in the wrong door, right? Yeah. But we're here now, yeah. and we just found out it's actually pancake breakfast day. So we're going to go eat pancake breakfast in church. So, I continue to be completely amazed at the community aspect of this First United Church. Um, we're all upstairs eating pancakes right now, and I get to um, stand here right now as my daughter is going to the bathroom, and it's just so nice to hear all the talk going on upstairs about how much um, this means to people and this community part has been my favorite part about the United Church experience. So what did you think of uh, church? How many pancakes did you have? Like two but a bunch of bananas. I mean like four. You think we're going to go back again somehow? Maybe yeah. four? Yeah. I ate a lot. Pretty fun though, eh? I don't know how much I ate. Like I ate so much. But we also got to... I can't sit even down get on and meet some new friends. I can't even get on track. Can't even get on track. I eat so much. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it is freezing out here. So we are gonna head to our car now. So I didn't do a whole lot of filming within the church aside from the times that I was alone. But I really, really do feel like this is a place where um, I certainly belong. Uh, I had become very disillusioned by what a lot of people, um, a lot of leadership and other Christian faiths um, have been saying and how they often use their religion um, against a lot of the things that I believe in. And it was so great to be in a community talking about activism. And this is actually the third time I've been there, so I went to an open house service there and then I spoke at a... Um, at an event they had organized where they were introducing some books that um, families can use to talk about social justice issues with their children. And so I talked about a few that we have that speak about masculinity and it was this kind of inviting nature of the church that really got me interested in checking out what was there. So I hope to be back again soon. One of the things that I am committed to doing is asking my kids every week if they want to come with me. And if they say no, not making a push to make them come, but to let them decide on their own if they'd like to take part in these services with me. Uh, because to me, that is a very important part of how I would like my kids to explore their own spirituality and their own religious experiences. So I'm hopeful that I'll be back in there. And maybe going forward, I can show you a little bit more of the things within the church that I really like. So some of the books that they have now for kids to read. Again, the, the way that there are uh, rainbows everywhere is very um, 
welcoming uh, as a member of the queer community. Um, so it, it's just so nice to see people speaking from a Christian faith uh, based on love and compassion. And thank you very much for checking it out. Please feel free to ask any questions you have of my own very early experiences with uh, the United Church. I will definitely answer. Um, feel free to subscribe as well. Uh, and I would love for you to take part in this, which is one of many parts of uh, my journey. So thanks again and talk to you later.